I'm sorry, but I have to ask from you know my ladies out here that's uh, he's married ah, to my sister Frig. Brandy Johnson. Brandy's Frig. Brandy's also a doctor. My sister, his wife. Uh, yes, and they have two sons, uh, my little babies, little Joe and little Carter, little Brainiacs. Yes, oh. smart, intelligent. They like the Huxtables to me. Oh, okay, Beautiful that's nice. Family. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, mommy and daddy did a pretty damn good job. They did. Tell Absolutely. me what mommy and dad did for a living. Um, of course, my father was in the army. He retired from the army. He mm-hmm. actually retired from the post office too. So my daddy got he both. got the double pension. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's like relaxing and chilling. Like, Cha-ching! Wait, hold on. Where's my ching at? Auntie Cole. Damn, <laughs> yeah. I got to keep my shit on. <laughs> All right, go ahead. And uh, my mother was more of the housewife, took care of the kids, the children, but they're not together anymore. So when they separated. Aww. I know it's hard, but um, when they separated, she's she's such a boss of her own. She started a business. She does adult care. Okay. She takes care of elderly. Um, for the state. when they decided to separate, how old were you? Um, when I just when they decided, I was about fourteen. But they were separated for years. Don't before. tell me you ain't know. No, no, it was just it was a lot of I remember a lot of fights mm. and arguments, and I like to not remember it because mm-hmm. it was it's not good memory. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I don't like to choose. I hate talking about it because it's almost like when my mother says things about my father, is she put yeah, me you... in a position, and I love my father. That's my heart. Know, that's my that's first right. love. Mm-hmm. You know, outside of my mom. And then when my dad says things and my that he doesn't like about my mom, I'm like that's my mom. Like my the only mother I have. I don't like to be in the middle, so I, I don't just don't talk. You. The same thing with MJ and Amada. That's I don't right. have, I don't want to hear it. I don't see it. I don't want to know about it. My parents um got divorced when I was really young too. Um, I think maybe I was like maybe five or six. <laughs> and even today, I mean, they're cordial. Are they? Are your parents cordial? Mm-mm. Oh, well, I don't they're want cordial. Them in the same room together. But you know, they. I mean, of course, they're not. Either one of them are neither one of their favorite people in the world. Yeah. But when my mom says something about my dad, just like you said on my dad, I'm like, yo, check this out. I didn't have nothing to do with this shit. You you picked him. He picked you. And I'm just the result of what the hell you picked. I know. It's like, why are you putting me yeah, in Yeah, I don't got nothing to do with nothing. <laughs> it's so funny. It's unfair. It's, it really is. So you know what you do like me? Disappear. No, I don't hear nothing. Said, what you say? I'm going to call you right back. Static oh. on the phone. Well, you know what? Not for nothing, but they both should be very proud. Oh, um, yo, oh my father, I could do no wrong in his eyes anyway. And my mother... It, it was, was she a, strict? My mother was very strict. Really? My my father was the one I could kind of get away. Even now, I can get away with anything with my dad. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm his baby girl, his only little girl. We got we all got the same mother and father, okay. all, three of, mm-hmm. all three of us. But my father's sweet as pie. I was just telling my friend Jen that he's so sweet, Shout so humble. Jen. That's my pub. Shout out to Jen that is I, like Jen the Johnson. sweetest ever. I know, right? The sweetest ever. <laughs> but go ahead. So so my aggressive side mm-hmm. comes from my mother. Okay. For sure. And she swears up and down we don't act nothing alike. Were you an obedient child? Um, not when I wanted attention, though. <laughs> I, between my brothers and I, I was the worst. Really? Mm-hmm. Did you get your ass beat? All the time. I got the most whoopings. I ran away. I did all the, the most. I mean, like, when you get beat, did you get beat with the shoe? The I got extension beat with cord? shoes, extension cords. I went outside and got a stick. I don't know how many Oh, times. okay. So you black, black. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nigga, nigga. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I know that you started reality TV pretty young. Yeah. So you were able to finish school or yeah, yeah, I was, but I, I when I finished, that's when I did, um, oh, Flavor okay. of Love. what school did you go to? Well, I wasn't in Atlanta. I was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. When I moved to Atlanta, it seemed like everything just took off for me. Cause mm-hmm. I remember I was saying, I want to be famous. I want to be famous in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It's like an hour and a half outside of Chicago. Right. There's nothing to attach me with as far as with em- entertainment. You kind of got to branch out mm. and then kind of go back home. And a lot of people in Milwaukee think I was born there. I wasn't, I went to middle school there. I went mm-hmm. to high school there. I wasn't what high born school there. because strict, um, <laughs> so Strickland, MC Strickland, that? that he actually um is a family member of ours. He tours with my husband, and he's from Milwaukee. I and don't know him. well, what high school? Because maybe Vincent. Oh, uh, Vincent. And I got kicked out of town. All right, good night. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have mentioned that part. You could have let that. Part I'm just out. playing. Why'd you get kicked out, Shay? I got kicked out of two schools because. Um, <laughs> <laughs> one, 
wouldn't I wouldn't abide with their rules and regulations because it was a Catholic school. And oh, I wouldn't abide damn. with their rules and regulations. And when it came because we had to go to this church and hum and you had sing. to wear a uniform yep. and you wanted to let the girls and out. I, I was I was bad and wanting attention at that time mm-hmm. and I was kicked out. So I went to another school, I got kicked out of that one. And then I finally found a school that was good enough because I they were all bad just like me. Mm-hmm. So we did it there and kept it moving. I've had a lot of negative experiences growing up. I've had my challenges growing up, but I am I have no regrets. That's good. That's good. None at all. This is who I am. This is what I had to go through, but it made me who I am today. Without mm-hmm. my trials and tribulations, I don't know where I will be That's right true. now. The only thing I feel like I'm missing, and I say it all the time, is a family. That soon come. That bothers me. That soon come. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. 